You know that one friend who swears they hooked up with a celebrity last weekend, but you know for a fact they were at home alphabetizing their spice rack? Yeah, AI does that too, but with facts, and it's a way bigger problem. Hey, it's Toaster Bro. Today, we're talking about AI hallucinations. That's when an AI confidently serves you a hot, steaming pile of BS and presents it like a gourmet meal. With tools like ChatGPT and Gemini basically running the world now, this isn't just a funny glitch. It's spreading misinformation, tanking legal cases, and giving medical advice that could land you in the hospital. By the end of this, you'll know exactly why it happens, what the latest research from OpenAI says about it, and how to spot the lies so you don't get burned. We're going deep. Alright, let's get the definition straight. An AI hallucination is when a model generates information that is factually incorrect, nonsensical, or not grounded in its training data, but presents it as fact. Experts prefer the term confabulation. It's not a human-like delusion. The AI doesn't believe it's lying. It's just filling in gaps in its knowledge with statistically plausible but totally fabricated information. It's not trying to deceive you. It's trying to be helpful. A little too helpful. And that's where the problems begin. So why does your billion-dollar AI act like a pathological liar? It boils down to a few core issues in how these things are built. First, the data. LLMs are trained on a colossal amount of text and images from the Internet. But, as the New York Times and others have pointed out, that data is full of gaps, biases, and just plain garbage. Think of the AI as a chef. You've given it a massive pantry, but some shelves are empty and some ingredients are mislabeled. When a customer orders a dish it doesn't have the recipe for, it improvises with what it has. Sometimes you get a masterpiece, sometimes you get food poisoning. This is why they're often called stochastic parrots. They're brilliant at mimicking patterns and predicting the next word in a sentence, but they have zero true understanding. As CNET reported, this led a chatbot to suggest a man use sodium bromide as a salt substitute, which is toxic. That's not just a mistake, it's a failure to comprehend consequences. Now for the real kicker, and this is the core insight from OpenAI's September 2025 paper, Why Language Models Hallucinate. Models are trained to be good test takers. On most tests, if you leave an answer blank, you get zero points. But if you guess, you have a small chance of getting it right. The AI models are trained in the same way. They are literally incentivized to make a confident guess rather than just say, I don't know. This pressure to always have an answer is why according to OpenAI's own findings, newer and more complex models can have higher hallucination rates, sometimes up to 48% on certain factual tests. They're not getting dumber, they're just getting better at guessing. Finally, there's overfitting. This is like when you cram for an exam by memorizing specific answers instead of learning the concepts. You might ace the test, but you can't apply that knowledge to anything else. The AI memorizes patterns and specific phrases from its training data. If a prompt is too similar to something it's seen, it might just regurgitate a memorized and potentially out of context or wrong answer instead of generating a new one. It's lazy, just like you were in college. Don't lie. Okay, let's take a tour of the different species of hallucinations you'll find in the wild. First up, the classics, text hallucinations. The most famous case, reported by the New York Times, involved a lawyer who used ChatGPT for legal research. The chatbot invented several completely fake legal precedents. The lawyer submitted them to a judge. It did not end well. Then there's the Air Canada chatbot, which invented a bereavement policy and gave a customer bad info. When the customer sued, Air Canada had to honor the fake policy the chatbot created. Ouch! Next exhibit, image hallucinations. We've all seen the AI-generated hands with seven fingers. That's a classic. But it gets weirder. Remember the AI-generated images of Will Smith eating spaghetti? It was horrifying. The AI doesn't understand physics or biology, so it just mashes concepts together. And finally, the real spooky stuff, audio and video. As Business Insider highlighted, audio transcription tools like Whisper have been caught inventing violent or racist phrases in medical and legal settings. 
and video? Google's Bard famously claimed the James Webb Space Telescope took the first photo of an exoplanet, 16 years before the telescope even launched. It rewrote history with the confidence of a dictator. So, are we doomed to an eternity of AI gaslighting? Not entirely. There are smart people working on this. The OpenAI paper suggests a key fix, behavioral calibration. This is a fancy way of saying we need to change the rules of the game. Instead of rewarding the model for guessing, we reward it for admitting uncertainty. It's like teaching your kid it's better to say, I don't know, than to make something up and look like an idiot. Another huge one is grounding. This means connecting the AI to a trusted, verified source of information. The most popular method is RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. Think of it like giving the AI an open book test. Instead of just pulling from its jumbled memory, it has to look up the answer in a real encyclopedia and cite its sources before it can speak. This dramatically reduces factual errors. But here's the hard truth. As some experts, like Vectra's CEO, have argued, hallucinations might be an inherent, unavoidable part of how LLMs work. They are built to be creative pattern matchers, not fact checkers. So, while we can reduce them, we might never eliminate them. They're a feature, not a bug, until they bite you. The real solution isn't just better tech, it's smarter users. So, let's recap. AI hallucinates because of gaps in its data, because it's trained to be a confident guesser, and because it sometimes just memorizes junk. We can make it better with smarter training and by grounding it in reality with tools like RAG. But the most important thing you can do right now is to treat AI like a brilliant but wildly unreliable intern. It's an incredible tool for creativity and first drafts, but it is not an oracle. Be skeptical, verify everything, and never ever trust it with your medical, legal, or financial decisions without a human expert. At least AI won't ghost you, it's always there for round two, unlike your ex. That's the crisp on AI hallucinations. Now you know more than 99% of people who use these tools every day. Drop a comment and tell me the wildest AI lie you've ever caught. Alright, I'm popping out, stay toasty.